In 60 seconds or less, I'm gonna tell you how to get set up with Blubber nationwide through Titan Medical Center. So follow along. First step, you're gonna call or text us at 727-389-3220. It's our main line and only number. After you get a hold of us, you're gonna give us your demographics, your full name that's on your ID, your email address, and your phone number. Then we'll collect payment for the labs. After that, you're gonna receive an email with your prepaid lab requisition slip and a link to the nearest lab locations to you. After you receive that email, print up your lab requisition, take it in with your ID, they're gonna draw your blood, you don't have to give them any insurance card or any more money. Then just wait. Three to four business days later, we'll have the results and we're gonna give you a call to go over those results briefly. It's so easy and so simple. So take advantage of it for your health. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up guys, John here, my beautiful wife Sharice. Hey guys. And we are here at the Titan Medical Center, Tampa Pro, here at the Grand Hyatt in Tampa, Florida. We've got some awesome, awesome things that we're gonna be doing this weekend. One, we're gonna be giving away a lot of cool Titan gear. T-shirts, tank tops, maybe some sweatshirts, some long sleeves, who knows? And we are gonna have free B12 shots and free amino shots for everybody. Some places are charging 15 to $30 for these single shots. We're gonna give them to you for free. Walking in, day one, me and Sharice just walked through the door. We set up the booth earlier. We helped set it up and supervised. Yes. 2023 has been a good year and we're just gonna make it even better. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna check out the booth some more and just have a good old time. Shaking hands, kissing babies, you know? So come down and check us out this weekend or if you're here today, maybe you'll see us and uh, we can talk, get a picture and maybe you wanna learn more about Type Medical Center and how we can help you guys feel better, look better, perform better. Come along with us guys. What's up guys? Day two of the Type Medical Tampa Pro. Uh, we've been here and I'll tell you what, since the start of the class in the morning all the way to this point in the afternoon, late afternoon, it's been jam packed with a lot of competitors, a lot of people coming in the audience, a ton of people coming by the Type Medical Center booth, not only because they're getting a free awesome Type Medical Center t-shirt which is high quality and just awesome, but they're also getting a free B12 shot or amino shot for free. Yep. You know, this is a value like $15 to $30, depending on where you go for this injection. If it's free, it's for me. You it's, know that thing. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the best. So, who, who, you know, they come here, they get to see their favorite competitor on stage or family member or friend, and then they get to get a free B12 and amino shot plus an awesome t-shirt to go home with. Man, that's a win-win for everybody. Um, it's just been awesome last day and a half so far. Yep, we, we got a little bit two. more to go, so yeah. we can keep you guys updated on that. We got the rest of today, and then we got all day tomorrow to show you guys what's going on the Titan Medical Tampa Pro. So come with us, come to the booth, see some of the behind the scenes and what we're doing and interacting with new patients and old patients and people that just want to come up and hang out with Titan Medical Center. What can I say? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So come get a picture with us. We've got all our Titanettes out here, plus some other Titan athletes like Big Drew and some more like Rodney and a couple other ones. So at that point, we'll see you guys up here. See you then. What's up guys, John here, Tight Medical Tampa Pro. And who do we run into day two? AKA Lois Lane, AKA Rachel Daniels. 
the, the stud herself. What can I say? This girl grinds all day, all night. Tight supporter. We love her, and we want to give you a special shout-out. How are you doing today, Rachel? I'm doing great. Happy to be here with my Titan family. We're killing it out today. We're healthy, happy, thanks to Titan Medical. So if you're not here, you're missing out. That's my girl. That's my girl. It's awesome to be here and get to see so many friends and so many competitors out here doing their thing. So you know what? we got to give a special shout-out to all the competitors out here. But, you know, Rachel, how, do you have any athletes in the show? I have a lot of posing clients in the show today. Yes, I do, actually. And a lot of them are all also uh, patients of Titan Medical. So we like our athletes on stage and off stage to be really healthy. We're a big family at Titan Medical, and that's why it's a great sponsor for uh, Tampa Pro. What's up guys, here with one of my good friends, Titan athletes, and just one hell of a guy, John Price. JP. How you doing, John? I'm doing excellent, I'm uh, ready to go. Yeah? Absolutely. So, John is competing today at the Titan Medical Tampa Pro. Any therapies you think have helped you along the way? Oh man, I'm on several of them, but uh, definitely a MK677 when I was first starting to bulk up. Um, the hunger, it really helped me out with that, getting all the meals down. Uh, ECA stack at the end, thank you Lord Jesus, yeah. um, helping me get that in. And uh, you know, obviously all the way through, just uh, keeping my therapies right, my blood work right, and making sure I was healthy and on point. That's right. That's what it's all about, being healthy first, and then getting up and getting that aesthetic and kicking butt on stage if you want to do that too. Fight Club. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are here at the last day of the Titan Medical Tampa Pro. So this is the day when everybody sees what that hard work is really gonna pay off to get them. Are they gonna win, are they gonna lose? Who knows, but we're gonna see. And Titan Medical Center's been here all weekend giving away free B12 shots, free amino shots to everybody. Getting to see new patients, new people, and just get to interact with the whole fitness and health community. It's been great. Yeah. What do you think, Sharice? I think it's been great. Every year is great. And they just get better and better every year. And we honestly, we've had a great yeah. promotional staff. Yeah. We've had some great leaders here to yeah. guide the promotional staff. Yeah. So I'm really happy that everybody's been able to interact, make new friends, make new connections, because really that's what it's about is relationships. And we always have a high standard and quality for our booth and who is attending our booth and who's representing Titan Medical Center. So we'd like to call each other be here. We've had some great behind the scenes leaders and I'm really proud of them. They stepped up in every way, shape or form. Um, and it makes me happy, right? We're, we're a family, we work great as a team and that really, really counts. Um, but yeah, Titan Medical Tampa Pro, we're gonna see what it's all about. We'll, we'll show you plenty of behind the scenes of what's going on in the booth, the interaction, all kinds of stuff. And if you're around, you can still come down and get a free B12 amino shot. If not, you can always call our office. We can set you up and uh, we'll hook you up and get you feeling good, looking good, and performing your very best with Titan Medical Center. Yeah, so come on with us, let's go inside. Let's go. Yes. representing Titan Medical Center and we can help all you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. With hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, and blood work. And I can't stress that enough for competitors or for your average day person to make sure you're checking your blood work. Not just regular panels, but full in-depth panels to see what's going on inside your body so you can optimize it, repair it, or whatever you may be. So at that point, we can help you guys out. Call us, text us, 727-389-3220, or visit us at tightmedicalcenter.com. We have to remember everybody, especially in this particular field, right, that health is number one. So if you don't have your health, you're not going to be able to be up on this stage. So remember that. It's number one. And I do need to take my minute that I do every single year and thank 
Tim, Eileen, the daughters, all of the great crew. You guys put on a great show. It's always amazing. It's a better experience. So keep up the good work. Hello folks, my name is Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center. Today I want to speak to you about Hercules Potion. Some of the key ingredients, L-citrulline, L-arginine, these increase vasodilation, help you with the focused pump when you're training and exercising. L-carnitine, which helps fat metabolism, can help you lose weight. In addition to that, it has glutamine, proline, lysine, which also help with recovery, antioxidants, decreased muscle soreness. It also has NAC, taurine, and ornithine. These all help with making your workouts longer and more productive, and also anti-aging properties as well. If you're interested in learning more about Hercules Potion and other Titan Medical Center therapies, please give me a call. I would love to hear from you and help you achieve your goals. I can be reached at 727-389-3220. Stay strong and stay healthy. miss a line in the game, you reset. You miss it on the track, you could die. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another tight medical movie review, just for you. Just for you. So uh, this one is a, a big one I think for gamers out there, or people who love racing. I like cars. Um, Gran Great. Turismo is what we got to see tonight in an advanced screening. And uh, it was a really, really good movie. And let me start back by, based on a true story. So I like movies that are based on true stories as long as they follow the, the, the true story. Same. Um, and not just take the little tidbits and make it whatever they want. But this one was based on a true story and this guy really did what the movie you know, entailed, which was he was an awesome gamer. Gran Turismo out there. Gran Turismo out there, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so he was a gamer basically and uh, they ran this contest with Nissan that you know they were going to basically find this gamer and put him in a car and see him win these races. So. That's kind of what it did, and uh, you know, it really captured the video game adaptation that I liked, that a lot of movies miss out on. Um, you know, the adaptation from games to movies is so tricky. I've only seen so many franchises out there that really have done it well, maybe like Resident Evil or such. But this one really took, I mean, it really took cake as far as that goes, the adaptation and the integration and then the storyline to go along with it, which is really, really cool. What about you, Sharice? What do you think? Um, well, to simplify things, I like cars. Um, I like fast cars. I like to drive, and I like to drive fast. But we won't put that on document. We're gonna document it. Okay. But it was a good movie. I thought it was great. I also like based on true stories, as long as it's actually based on true stories. You know, some of those movies they go based on true story, and at the very, very end, it tells you yeah. this was not actually yeah. a true story. It was just based on some events. Yeah. So this is an actual true story. Um, the only catch-22, because I gotta throw that in there, right, with this particular movie, is that I don't want to give the false hope to all the people that get on Mario Kart that you can drive, because that's not true, okay? So you're not because you get behind Mario Kart or whatever, you know, race car five or whatever cars, you know, the driving games that are out there, that does not mean you can drive. So I just want to put that as a fun fact. Just because there's a game and you're really good at it doesn't mean that you could drive. This was just a really cool kid that did something really cool. And, you know, it came out to be a really cool story. That it was well, a cool movie. Well, Gran Turismo is a little bit different. Like, even in the game, in the movie, that you're like, Gran Turismo is a game. No, it's not a game. It's a race simulator. That's how it was created. Um, it was really good. It was really good. So, uh, for this one, I'm definitely going to give it a 4.3 stars. I thought it was really, really good. I thought the, the storyline was good. The adaptation was good. Um, you know, the cinematography in the movie, I mean, the way that they shot some of these different scenes, you could tell, some of the drones, but with real yeah. cars too. So, I mean, that's, that's something that, you know, that's, that's amazing this day in CGI because they can create anything they want. So, yeah, really, really cool. Um, I'll do a 3.9. 
Wow, that's high. That's high for Cherie scoring. Wow. I do like cars, though. Wow. I just, I love cars. John likes cars. He turned me into a car, a car woman, right? I even said the other day how we detail our, our dogs, but that's not what it's actually called. It's called grooming. <laughs> <laughs> that was my accident, but I like cars, so that's my rating. I thought it was a good movie. You should definitely check it out. Listen, judge it for yourself. Go there, check out the movie, and don't think you're a race car driver once you hit your car hit the parking lot. So, because you're like, oh yeah, you get that adrenaline rush, yeah, I'm ready to go. You get popped. You don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. So, drive safe out there. <laughs> Enjoy the movie, Gran Turismo. I know you guys are going to love it when it hits theaters. Um, Nate Van Screen was awesome, so you know, thanks, AMC. Yeah, I love AMC. Yeah, see you awesome. then. We'll see you next one for the next tight medical movie review just for you. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, me and this little beautiful thing over here, I call my wife, I give you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully entice, enhance, and bring your relationship to a whole new level, right? And a positive one, hopefully, at that. And if you don't, or you're not in a relationship right now, you don't have a partner, don't worry. You guys can take all this great information, store it for later. Yeah, file it. And then utilize it when you find that special person, or you think you found that special person, because some of the information we provide, you might start weeding out some people, which would probably be better for you too as well, right? You're not wasting time. You're on, on this earth for only a limited amount of time. So you want to make sure that time is used properly, right? Right. You don't want to waste it on anybody or anything. You can't waste time. You can't buy it. I wish I could buy time. I would buy so much of it. Yeah, time would be good, right? Yeah. There's all different types of movies where they just, you know, they live on time. So right. anyway, this week we've got a little, uh, like, example, I guess, for you guys. So, you know, when we've talked in past shows, we've talked about how date night is very important with a relationship. Obviously, in the beginning, when you first start dating, you're taking the girl out or, you know, the guy, whatever it is, and you guys are going to do fun things. You guys are bonding. You guys are having fun. You guys are learning more about each other um, and their likes, maybe habits, sports, whatever it may be. So at that point, you know, we do the exact same. Right. So we, you know, we live by example. We're showing you guys kind of what it is. So this last Saturday, we decided we were going to go do something really cool. I've been wanting to go to this different place that's open up west of Chapel, Florida. It's called Pop Stroke. Yeah, it was actually really cool. Really cool, right? Yeah. Um, Pop Stroke's like, uh, it's Tiger Woods owned uh, miniature golf course. So it's got two different courses on it, a bar, a restaurant, um, you know, upgraded putters. So, you know, the old school putters where you had to, you know, have like a doll end. And like, yeah, you know, it was real just, tiny. And yeah, it looked real tiny. You can actually get tailor-made clubs for an extra 10 bucks, I think of what it was. Uh, really, really fun. So, you know, going there and doing the miniature golfing thing. Yeah. So obviously when you go and you do an activity like this, even if you guys don't like miniature golf, this might be a good one for you guys. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was and plus fun. you gotta like, you know, it is just you guys technically. And it's not like a movie because in the movies you don't talk, right? That's your silent moment. <laughs> Sometimes that's good for you too. So you can just sit next to each other, enjoy each other's company and there is no need to talk. However, you do need to conversate sometimes. Yeah. So this was nice because, you know, you would go to each hole yeah. and like, you know, obviously we were playing and, you know, I'm an incredibly competitive individual. Um, I think that's honestly why John, one of the reasons John married me is because I'm so competitive. Um, I will never sit back and lose and I'll just, I'll just never lose. But I mean, I did lose by like a point or two, maybe three. Um, but it was, it was, I was close, right? You know, I didn't just have him destroy me. No, she did really good. <laughs> she did really good. You know, we started off, uh, you know, we got something to eat there real quick, which food was pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, she had, uh, I think, uh, a margarita. I had some water. It was really good, right? The, the experience, the service was really good. And those girls were the waitresses. I think she's working like 16 hours, you said, or something like that. Yeah. She did really good for doing that. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you know, we approached the course. And like Sheree said, we kind of got it. And, you know, she is competitive. <laughs> and I'm competitive, which is really good because you want some competitiveness with you guys. Now, it Not shouldn't, bad be, competitive, it yeah. shouldn't be a competitive thing in everything you do. Right. Right. I did this. I did this. I, that's Not that's that type of competitive. No, no. Fun competitive. Fun competition. Yeah. Right. Funly Fun. competition. So. You know, we were going back and back, back and forth, excuse me. And at that point, you know, we played pretty good. She played pretty good. 
And, I was uh, ahead for a while. I was ahead for a while. By one, by I one messed stroke. up on one thing. Just one thing, and then it was... Ooh. She messed up a couple times, and I missed a hole in one. It was real close. It was like this close. So, But it was good, right? Yeah. We got to really talk about you know, stuff that we don't really get to talk about like outside of work. Yeah, try and, to keep it non-work related. Yeah, you know, and, you know, we're having fun doing it. Took some video, so you guys will get to see some of this B-roll and stuff like that. Uh, but it was, it was cool. It was a good experience. It's fun that's clean, right? And it's it's productive. So what do I mean by that? So it doesn't have to involve drinking, drugs, right. any negative environment. It's a good, positive, clean environment. Um, and, you know, it's some sort of activity. Now, it's not going to be like playing a basketball game or a football game where you're expending all these different calories. But you are walking, you know, to hold a hole. You are swimming the clubs. I mean, it's a little bit of expenditure as far as calories go. But it's cool, right? Because... Like I said, it's a bonding thing. Now you guys have went and did this miniature golf. You guys can take pictures there. You know, it's it's setting up memories. Yeah. I mean, our picture we took, and I'm definitely going to give this over to you guys so you guys can see it, but I held the club up like this, and it actually looks like I have a bicep. I mean, like, I definitely don't have a bicep. <laughs> but in this picture, I mean, I was, like, super bicepping. Gunned up. <laughs> gunned up. I had guns, right. guns. It was fun. Uh, you know, we were there for only like probably about two hours, two and a half hours, I think. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, they had two courses. So they have like an easy course, which obviously I'm like, we're definitely going there first because I'm not working my way backwards. And then the next time we come, we can go to the harder course. But yeah, we went around the whole thing. And obviously there was a lot of people there. And, yeah. you know, you have to wait for them to go through there. Yeah. But it's really cool because they have like a bench pretty much yeah. at every single hole. Yeah. So like you can sit down, talk to each other for a little bit, yep. you know, whatever it might be, but it's nice. It's just a nice environment. Got some music in the background and stuff. Yeah. They've got a big TV on the outside of it. And you'll yeah. see in one of these videos um, where like if Playing big games, games are going on or whatever it is, you could be out there having a good time and still watch what's going on in the game. I mean, it's a pretty huge TV that's out there. Um, so that was, that was really cool. I mean, the other benefit was is they'll bring the drinks right to the hole wherever you're at. You just order them through the app and they'll bring them right to you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I ordered mine and never came. We were at the end of the, <laughs> end, end of the night where they closed down the bar because we were like, there that um, late. I ordered that at hole three. I figured I'd get it by hole six. We are now at hole 13 and I do not have my margarita. <laughs> both courses, there's a red and a black one. Um, they went to 18 holes on both ones, which is really, really cool. So. You guys might want to go try it, right? Yeah, it could be any like anything like that. I mean, all the putt-putt places are fun. Because, yeah. And even if you suck, because some of you guys yeah. might suck. Huh? But even if you are not good at the game, you can still go have fun, right. you know? Um, just try, though, so that way you're not, like, you know, hitting the ball, like, that way and then this way and then this way again. Once you get to, like, three, you just put it on the scorecard and just, like, we're going to the next hole. Yeah, right. And it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Keep it nice and fun like that. If not, it's like... Are you going to get it in the hole, or what are you doing? We finished all ours, so, I mean, we were pretty good. <laughs> Most of the par that we did was really, really good. Killed it. Um, it was good. It was definitely fun. <laughs> like I said, competition-wise was there. And this isn't something you got to – you don't got to go finish your golfing, but we're giving you an example and want to show you, like, we practice what we preach. Yeah, we were out there, and it, was just, it wasn't even something we thought about prior to, but we yeah. were there, and we were like, oh, this would be cool to share on Cupid's Corner because, yeah. like, it would have been nice to have somebody follow us around. And I was like, well, you know – not really and yes i would like to get you know some of the you know stuff we're doing but i also that would also make us not alone <laughs> we would not be alone we would have somebody with a camera so yeah i preferred that because it was nice so i mean and you like i said whatever you guys are doing when you guys are going on these dates take some video and take some pictures yeah just so you can memories. remember you know it's, it's memories right and you guys can cherish these memories. You guys can look back on these things. You guys can make collages later, these video collages that are online, all these different things. You can actually print photos now in beautiful frames and get them up. So, yeah. you know, you never know. And the cameras are so good on phones these days um, that you're going to get an excellent picture, excellent video. And you can show your kids later on or whatever it may be, right? It's just really, really cool. I wish that we had this technology when I was a kid. I was trying to ask John. I'm like, you yeah. don't have any, like, kid pictures or, like... Where are your pictures? You know, and I was, child. I was born in 1981, so... I you know, was born in 86. I, I know. So, yeah, and that, I got pictures. Well, I mean, I've got... I think my mom's got some pictures in a picture book, in a scrapbook, or whatever it is, I'm right? I'm getting with you, Diane. But there isn't, like, a whole bunch <laughs> of... It's not like what we have for Peter today. 
No, right? I mean, yeah, we have pictures of him every day. And, and think about it. It's all digital. Those things are never going to go bad, right, right, per right, se. Right, yeah. You can always, you know, send them anywhere you want. You yeah, can store cool. them in a cloud anywhere. And now you always got them. Yeah. The only the good thing about pictures before was it was something physical. Yeah, it was, it was tangible. really cool, right? Tangible. You know, people would put them on their walls, put them on the fridge, whatever. And, you know, the downside of that is you might, those photos might get ruined, too. So. Yeah. These will never get ruined. So there's an upside and a downside yeah. to, to both, I guess. I agree. But it's it's just it's just something that, like I said, it, get those memories. It, it's something you should definitely do. For sure. Um, it's always good to live in the moment. So I was this person before where I always hold a, a camera and everywhere I went, and that's what I was focusing on: getting the picture, getting the video, and not really enjoying the moment. So now I've I've kind of flipped it where I'm enjoying the moment. Yay. And I want to get the pictures and video. So now, like, I'll, I'll pull it out because I'll have to tell myself, like, listen, I should really get this on video or a picture because I think it's going to be cool later on to look at, to share, whatever it may be. But I like to focus on the moment and enjoy what's going on around me. It's really cool because I don't get to do it a lot. So now I've been trying to tell myself, this is what you need to do. So enjoy the moment with your partner, too, yeah. as well, right? Now, don't just be focused on the picture and the video because you can just be doing this all day long. Yeah. But you're not focusing on it. you'll lose. It you'll lose that window of opportunity to really be able to communicate and bond with your significant other. Yeah. And there's always good other good ways to get out there and get crazy, right? So, you know, this is more of like a chill, laxed, like, you know, date night. But you guys can go get some excitement too. Don't be boring. Um, there's different things you can do. So, you know, next month we'll probably do a Cupid's Corner uh, where me and Sharice are going to go to a music festival. And we'll get that on there. We'll get to show you some of the behind the scenes of kind of what's going on there. <laughs> you know, I, I'm you know I'm getting too old for some of these different things, but uh, you know, a couple of my buddies they, they want to go. It's the last hurrah type deal, and we're gonna do it right, VIP style. So you know, I'll go you know enjoy a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to enjoy because I'm gonna probably want to go to bed. I early. don't know how much we're getting on a camera. We're gonna leave some of that off. I'm the gonna TV. I'm gonna get some of the stuff <laughs> for you guys to see. It's in Vegas. Uh, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Okay. Still very conservative. <laughs> so at that point, you guys get to see all the behind the scenes and some of that live stuff that's probably going on. Um, but I just want to share that because that's something you guys can do too. If you guys like music, you guys go to a concert. We're going. We are going somewhere this Friday. Yeah, we can do something this Friday. I'm so, saying we're going this. We're doing yeah, it Friday. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to go to a. a and local we have we have a table, Tampa. and we're, we're, every time we go somewhere, we have music, and then we dance. Yeah, we dance together. That's actually one of the, I think, and I'm sure he does too. One of like one of our favorite outlets. Because music is amazing. Yeah, definitely. So, guys, stay tuned because we're going to have awesome the behind the footage from this Friday going on maybe the next show because we always like to show you guys that too as well. Yes. And more great information, tips, and tricks to enhance, entice, and make your relationship probably one of the best ones you'll ever have, hopefully, right? So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't get to watch it live, you can DVR it or just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe and all the notification bell, and you guys will get all of the Cupid's Corner shows and a lot, lot more of our cool content. We'll see you guys next Sunday on Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. See you then.